Hi everyone. Hope that your week was great. Boy, the weather did sure cool down quite a bit, didn't it? But let me tell you, I'm enjoying this cool weather. Um, just a reminder, uh, for the month of September, uh, we are meeting outside for Children's Church. So after Pastor Blake's message, uh, the kids will uh, join uh, myself and another volunteer um, in the front of church. Uh, I will, we ask that they bring a beach towel or a, a chair, and that will be their spot. So last week was the first week that we did that, and it went well. It was great seeing their little smiling faces again. Uh, so just uh, to review, uh, the last time we were in First Samuel, we t talked about um, Samuel going and finding um, a new king. And do you remember who he he went to Jesse's house, and do you remember who God told him to choose? He chose David. Um, and Samuel told David that one day he would be the new king. Right? So we're going to just kind of go um, on from there. But first, let's review the books of the Bible. Okay? We have Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1 Samuel. So we are still in 1 Samuel. All right, so um, the enemies of God's people came to fight again. And they sent their biggest guy named Goliath. And Goliath was nine feet tall. Okay, so he was pretty tall. I know none of your dads are nine feet tall. Um, so uh, God chose someone to fight Goliath. And it was David. And David was a small boy. But you know what? He knew God was with him, so he knew that he would win. So that's what you're going to learn about today. So I hope you enjoy the video. And um, yeah, so have a great week. And we will see you on Sunday, or we will see you next week on the video. All right? Bye-bye. Soon the Israelites and enemies, the Philistines, came to do battle. David's brothers went to fight. One day, David took some food to his brothers. That's Goliath! Who will fight me? He's too big! Anybody? Who will fight me? I will! You are just a child. David went to the nearby brook and he chose five smooth pebbles and tucked them in his shepherd's pouch. And then David went to meet the giant. When the giant caught sight of David, he roared with laughter. <laughs> David put a rock in his sling, and he twirled it around. The stone struck Goliath in his fore on his forehead, and the giant dropped down. David killed the giant. Philistines saw the strongest man fall down. They ran off in fear. Who will fight me? Are you guys too scared? How would you have done it? How would I have done the death scene? Right I have my hand. Alright, I got this. How this the death face? Uncle Kinsley. You can throw the rock at me. 